Hi everyone, this is Steph from Mount Maid Fitness Collective. I am one of the nutrition coaches here. And today I wanted to talk to you about the subject of low energy availability. Um, this is a very common theme that we see when we're coaching individuals. Um, it kind of goes across all ages um, for men and women. But today I want to specifically talk about the effect that it can have on women. So low energy availability means that when you're not eating enough food and getting enough calories to support your basic health and to support your resting metabolic rate as well as your training. So there's repercussions to for this that aren't great. This um, includes a depressed thyroid, poor immune system, and then as well, the big one is body fat gain, in particular abdominal body fat gain. Um, and uh, another one, if you're an athlete, the one that may be more important is that it's gonna affect your training. So you're not gonna have the right training adaptation. So we can mitigate this um, by just eating more food, in particular real food. It doesn't mean that we can eat anything we want. We can eat processed junk food. We need to eat the right macronutrients, carbohydrates, fats, and protein, and the right micronutrients so that we're making sure we're getting those vitamins and minerals. <clears throat> So many women don't realize that in order to lose weight and change your body composition, you actually eat, need to eat more food. We don't want to be in that low energy availability where we're eating too little calories to support our basic functions and as well, you put training on top of that, um, if you're not eating the right food, we're really not going to get the best results from our training. We're not going to see the gains. We're not going to build lean body fat, a lean body mass. Instead, we're going to start to store fat. So if you're struggling, if you're struggling with this, or this is an issue that you're confused with, book an appointment with me. I do individual virtual coaching, nutrition coaching.